Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is a simple modular steam turbine power plant using electrical edge mod consistently producing over 50 kilowatt of power which gives us 12,560 RF per take when the conversion ratio is set to 5 and uh, when converted to HBM energy, it gives us 628,000 second, which is pretty good power production. Now the amount of steam needed can be produced using a thermoelectric boiler and 27 fuel wood heaters. This is for three steam turbines. And the solid fuel can be easily produced using sugarcane and mine factory reloaded. I will make a simple video for this because this farm is pretty good. Now one problem that I have been facing is balancing. Like what should be the uh, watts to RF ratio? Like we have the RF to HE conversion, HE to RF conversion. What should be the electrical edge power to basically RF conversion? So different turbines will give you different power. This is why I have made a poll. I highly recommend you vote for it and help me balance this a little bit. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so I have allocated this 2x1 chunk area in order to make this whole thing and the components you are gonna need mainly is the steam turbine, generators with some tachometers, joint hub, flywheel, very high voltage cable, the relay and an electrical probe. So we start with 3 steam turbines connected to each other and then place down 2 tachometers, one to control the turbines and one for controlling the power pole. Now with joint hubs, we make 3 separate connections place down six generators on one of them then in the middle i will place down six flywheels however you can make a separate connection for this like for example you can extend the joint hub on the left or the right as you wish and then place down the flywheels right there but i have just done this in order to make the build more compact now in the middle connecting to the generators or the flywheel will be a joint hub and to the generators will be six very high voltage cables. Now these cables can pull 75 kilowatt because I have the power cable factor set to five. Now we place down six more generators which will total up to 12. So the ratio of turbine to generator is basically one is to four. Now with that done, we place down an electric probe. This one will measure the power pull and we set it to power and the maximum value will be set to 60,000 because we are gonna pull out only 50 kilowatt from this. So set it to 60 kilowatt and zero and set it to validate. Now place down one very high voltage cable again and then a relay. Now this relay is in open condition by default. It will be controlled using this first tachometer. So set it to 201, which is the 100% value and 200, which is the 0% value. So what this will do is when the shaft is spinning under 200 radians per second, no power will be pulled from the generators. But as soon as that value hits over 201, we will start pulling the maximum amount, amount of power from the generators. So as you can see, zero volts on the signal cable. That's why the relay is open right now. So that's the control for power pull. Now for the second tachometer, which will control the amount of steam that the steam turbines are going to intake, uh, we want to prevent this from overspeeding, right? So 230, below 230, it will pull the maximum amount of steam and over 231, it will pull no steam. So that's 100 and now we connect a signal cable going into the steam turbines on the side like this and that's basically both of the tachometer set. Now in front of the relay, we place down an energy exporter to convert all of that watts into RF, set it to fourth option and the resistance value is set to 195 ohms. This is the perfect value needed in order to pull out 50 kilowatts from the system. Now for storing all of that power, you can basically do whatever energy storage block you want to use. I'm going to use the vibrant capacitor banks in this video cause they can be customized to look very, very cool like this. Now connecting a flux duct going into it as an input. And that's it, that's the basically the power plant kind of set. You can put a data logger in here in order to display the amount of power that we are pulling. The maximum value once again will be set to 60 kilowatt and the minimum to zero. So on the Y axis, you will have the power and on the X axis is the time. So with the power plant complete, now we calculate the amount of steam needed. So 360 millibuckets per steam turbine. So we have three, so 1080 millibuckets per take, which is exactly what a thermoelectric boiler the mechanism one can provide with 27 uh, fuel wood heaters on it. 
and these are taking sugar charcoal from mine factory reloaded now i'm going to extend the super lamina fluid ducts cause these have infinite throughput when they are pressurized and as soon as i connect them with steam the turbines with steam they will start spinning so it's gonna take a while because uh, i have all of these flywheels on top here so i'm going to speed this video up it took roughly 40 seconds this is 10 seconds because i have the speed at 400 percent and you will see that as soon as the radiance per second hits a number over 200 the generators will start basically giving power providing power to the storage system now this will not be very consistent in the beginning as you can see from all of the fluctuations in the graph the relay will open and close but it will stabilize like it has stabilized right now and slowly but gradually the amount of rf per tick will go up and then stabilize at 12560 rf per tick it is not nearly there right now but it weighs or basically it will stabilize there so you can actually print these out by the way so you can uh, place some papers print them out and display them if you want to so yeah that's how you start the entire system and once it's up and running this will basically keep on giving you power at a consistent rate as long as you supply it with steam the required amount of steam needed so here we can see 50.3 kilowatt is the power that we are pulling from all of these 12 turbines it is constant without any sort of fluctuation whatsoever and that's the 12560 rf per take stabilized now for hbm energy we need an rf to he converter and this will give us 628000 hg per second which is a lot of power which is the reason why i need the balancing or i need to balance this somehow because only using hbm energy is like way underpowered using this kind of feels very overpowered right now and using mechanism only and only mechanism is like very very overpowered now shutting this down is very simple you just cut off the steam supply to it and gradually it will die down now you can see it's fluctuating like a lot uh, this graph is gonna go crazy in a bit so if you don't want this to happen then i recommend building a bypass switch which is independent of the tachometer so here i have made a bypass switch if i turn this on then this will pull out all of the powers from the generators they will uh, speed down very rapidly and th that process will be kind of gradual or more like smooth so yeah as soon as you turn off the steam if you can open the bypass switch do that and you will get a very smooth curve instead of this rough looking curve that we have here but yeah that's the turbine or the entire thing shut down and we will stop producing power so that is how the entire system works and i hope you enjoyed this and you learned something from this video if you did do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this if you have any questions regarding this build leave them in the comment section below and i will get to it as soon as possible i'll see you guys in the next one till then peace out and stay safe